What's up guys, V here for a quick little guide video for Space Crew to show you how to get the bittersweet success, escape velocity, and back from the black trophies in one single mission. This is going to be pretty easy, so let's go ahead and get this going. If you're new to the game, you will have to complete the tutorial missions before you go for these. You'll also need your security officer to be at least level 2 so they can use their decompress or purge ability. You should be pretty close to level 2 by the time you're done with the tutorial, but worst case scenario, you just have to do maybe one extra mission. When you're ready, choose any mission from the Mission Select tab, preferably one with a low risk rating, that way you're not really struggling too much with this. It's also recommended you do this while your crew is still low level or on a different save file, since a few of them won't be making it home from this trip, and you really don't want to lose your high level crew members, especially if you're pretty far in the game. So once you're ready, go ahead and launch your ship and we're going to go out into space. And while we're floating around in space, we're going to go ahead and get the escape velocity and back from the black trophies out of the way. For this one, you'll either need one of your weapons officers or your engineer to stand in the tractor beam section of the ship or what is better known as the airlock section of the ship. Your pilot, communications officer, and security officer will all need to remain on board so you can retrieve your unlucky crew member you're about to send floating off into space. Once you've decided who will be exiting the ship, equip them with a spacesuit and move them to the airlock. My weapons officer, Sellers, has graciously volunteered to be the one to exit the ship for this demonstration, so we're going to put him in a spacesuit and stick him in the airlock section of the ship. And now you need somebody on the console for this little tractor beam airlock area. So you want to choose one of your weapons officers or the engineer who is not already there. So. I'm using my engineer, which is the lovely Slamma, and he's actually going to be the hero of this story as he's about to save Sellers. And now you're ready to go ahead and get him out of the ship. So select your security officer. Mine is, of course, Rez over here at the front of the ship. With your security officer selected, go ahead and purge section number one of your ship, and this is going to be that airlock section that your crew member is currently standing in. The room will decompress, and as you saw, he will fly out, and this will unlock the escape velocity trophy. And if we zoom out, we can see them floating behind the ship. Everybody wave and hope they're okay. And with your targeting, you're going to go ahead and select them so that your ship moves in their direction. And then go back inside and now select whoever you decided to put on the console for that little airlock section. In this case, it's my engineer Slamma. And you're just gonna wait for the ship to align with the floating body out in space. And when the retrieve button turns green, go ahead and hit it. And you're gonna bring that body back inside. And this is gonna unlock the back from the black trophy. From here, we have one more trophy to get. And that is of course gonna be the bittersweet success trophy. And you're going to need to complete this mission all the way to the point where you hyper jump back to Athena. Don't dock at the hangar or your home base or anything just yet, but make your way through all the objectives and side objectives and everything you could possibly do for your mission. And then we'll meet back up here once we're floating around our home base back at Athena. So be back in just a quick little fading screen moment. All right, so now that we are back in the airspace of Athena, floating outside of our home base, we are going to have some crew members exit the ship. Uh, this trophy requires you to finish a mission with two or less crew members still on board. And as you can see, we have six and we need to get rid of four. So you want to keep your pilot and your communications officer. That way you can still target the hangar and fly there as needed. So you're gonna get rid of both of your weapons officers, your engineer, and your security officer. So apologies to those four gentlemen who are about to sacrifice themselves for this trophy. But one by one, you're just gonna select them and put them on one of the outside engines on the ship. And this is gonna cause them to suffocate and of course die. And when they do, their bodies will just kind of fly off into space. And it's gonna take a little bit, maybe about a minute or so for them to actually kick the bucket. So let's just go ahead and go through this. And once they get outside, you will see some timers pop up next to their names. The first timer that appears is gonna be their oxygen. When that timer runs out, then the next one is gonna be how long it is until they die. So as you can see, we can speed this up. And then one by one, they will run out of oxygen and then their health will start to deplete. And then once it's all done, they will of course die. So one by one. Again, sorry, gentlemen. 
And then the timers that are currently next to them right now is how long you have to actually rescue them and bring them back into the ship before they are completely 100% dead, cannot be rescued whatsoever. So let all those timers run out and now they are deceased as deceased can be. And go ahead and select your hangar back at your home base. And then we're gonna land the ship here. And because the mission is complete and we have two or less crew members, we are gonna unlock the bittersweet success trophy. So go ahead and speed this up. And then once we land, it's gonna go through the mission stats and that's when the trophy is actually gonna unlock. And there's our trophy, so that'll just about do it for this. If you're needing any further assistance with the game, a link to the trophy guide has been provided down in the description below that will go over all the available trophies and achievements in the game. Please feel free to reference it as much as you need, it's there to help. As always, thank you all for watching and be sure to give a thumbs up and a follow for more indie related gaming videos in the future.